So I guess Chip Kelly's waiting for the Pope to bless Sam Bradford's niece first. The Chipster announced Friday that Bradford, who is returning from back-to-back ACL tears, won't play his first preseason game until August 22nd against the Baltimore Ravens. So that'll give Bradford two games of action until the real games start next month. Obviously, starters, they usually don't play in that fourth exhibition game. But in my opinion, I think Sam needs to be out there. Even if it's just one series. He hasn't taken a snap in a regular season game since week 7 of the 2013 season. There's a lot, a lot of rust on that arm and those knees. Now, there was something that I saw about some of the big-name quarterbacks and their workload in the first preseason games last night. Uh, Drew Brees didn't play. Tony Romo didn't play. Ben Roethlisberger didn't play. Tom Brady only threw the ball four times. Matthew Stafford twice, Joe Flacco six times, Jay Cutler seven times, Ryan Tannehill seven times, Philip Rivers twice. But to me, this is a much, much different circumstance. As great as Bradford's looked in training camp in the seven on sevens and the 11 on 11s, he's not taking any hits. What I was looking for out of potentially seeing Bradford Sunday wasn't his accuracy or arm strength. It was how he was going to take that first hit. Then that first lick to the knees. And once he took that first hit, how would he respond? Would he still be as confident in the pocket? Would he start to hesitate? Would his eyes be downfield looking at his receivers or drifting towards that potential pass rusher? You know, these are questions I don't know the answer to right now, and none of us in Philadelphia do. We'll get it in the second preseason game, but obviously we're not going to get it Sunday. Um, Some quotes from Chip. I don't think he's happy with my decision. He said, I just felt... He's been out there for two weeks, done a really nice job. He'll get his first work against the Ravens when we get a chance to train with them for a couple days before we play them next Saturday. Other guys have a little bit better base, and I just feel more comfortable putting him in the Ravens game. Uh, to add, Rams head coach Jeff Fisher held Bradford out of St. Louis's first preseason game last year, but then Sam retore his ACL in the third game against Cleveland. Kelly then referenced Niles Pauls' uh, season-ending foot injury Thursday night and the fine line between deciding whether or not to play Bradford. He said, Bradford's first 11-on-11 was two weeks ago. We went back and forth around it, but I made the final call. We're going to sit him in this game, and he'll be able to play against the Ravens. In other news, Zach Ertz will sit out the preseason due to a core muscles injury. Chip said that the Eagles are unsure whether he'll need surgery or not, but uh, I'm going to assume that Ertz should be ready to go for week one against Atlanta. Kiko Alonso will also sit out Sunday due to a concussion. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Chip also admitted Friday that he's been the one who's been limiting DeMarco Murray in practice. That shouldn't be a shocker either, considering Murray's workload from a year ago. So basically, we're going to see a lot of Matt Barkley and Tim Tebow on Sunday. That's great for you Tebow lovers, I guess. As for guys like Murray, Alonzo, Ertz, D'Amico Ryans, I- I'd be perfectly content with them not playing at all. I I don't care about them, but I think Bradford needs the reps. That's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, that's it for this video. I'm out of here. Take care. And uh, yeah, go birds, baby. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Bitter Birds too. Later.